You change them in ways no one else ever has, and they're still thinking of you. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. They want you to know that your debt is forgiven, meaning that whatever they did, they'd like to sweep it under the rug. And, you know, they're saying, hey, I forgive you if you forgive me, but I don't know if you do. Ready, set, go. I feel like this is someone who's really, like, ready, like, go. Like, so suddenly they've had a revelation about you, okay? I don't know how. I think for some people, it's because they're in a relationship with someone who made them think of you. It could just be as simple as someone looked like you, and suddenly they're reminded of you. I think you're someone that they tried to forget. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. They, this person has worked hard to forget you. You broke someone's heart. Mm. And I don't even know if you realize how much. I mean, I think you know, but you don't know. And I think they might have even, like, jumped into a relationship after you. Rebounded. Wow. Wow. Um, I don't know if you're interested in talking to this person again. I'm just here, like, in case you are asking for a sign from the universe, from God, your spirit guides. That's what this is for. Please don't make it fit. If you have to ask who this is about, it's not for you. Because um, I'm manifesting and praying right now that somebody, someone will pop into your head. I think it's someone who's contacted you or someone that is... They're just kind of, you know, these days, what's going on is people want to be caught stalking, talk, stalking you on social media because they want you to see them, I think, half the time. And, you know, I just don't look at any of that stuff. I don't do, oh my gosh, I don't look at anything social media. The only thing I do social media is this. I, I can't handle anything else. And people these days kind of stalk each other on social media because they want to get caught. It's, it's like kind of a passive aggressive way of saying, hey, you know, I wish you'd unblock me or whatever. And I think that's kind of what's going on here. I think somebody is looking at your stories or doing something to make you, they want you to reach out. They want you to know they're thinking of you. You know, they, they sort of probably want it to look like it's an accident, but it's not an accident. Um, let me finish pull these cards. It's time for a serious conversation with someone. That's only if you want to have a serious conversation with someone. I'm not telling you to force it. Um, although the cards might be saying that. Yeah, okay. Um, I think the only way to put this behind you, like, if you want this, it, look, if you don't want to be the one who got away, like it says here, you always be the one who got away, jumping over the wall. You jumped over the wall. Do you want to go back? Do people who leave prisons usually try to, you know, okay, let's get back over that wall? Probably not, usually. And some do, but that's a different story. It's time for a serious conversation with someone. Like, if you do decide to go back, to go back up this path here, you know, like, this person, I'm telling you, they're ready. That's why they're putting it out there. This is not a shock to you, whoever this is for. And if you want to leave them a comment below, you can, because maybe they're stalking you. They might see what you're commenting on. It's crazy. But that's how the algorithms work. Let's see what else. What other cards I got just for today. Don't look too far ahead. Okay? And I think that's, you know what, this is a message for the person too. Like, if you're the one here on the other side of this, whoever you are, take things one day at a time. This person's a little too ready to hit the gas and just keep going. You know what I'm saying? They're too... There's, there's, they're ready to go right back down that road. They're ready to pull you right back over the wall. Okay, I'm telling you, serious conversation. Don't let anything get by without a big, long, like five day conversation. Okay, this is gonna take work. This isn't some kind of relationship you just slide right back into. Okay, I think something popped out from that deck, so I got this deck. Oh, adult fantasies. Okay, there's. Look at that. Do you see what we got? We got two bubbles of thought here. Adult fantasies thinking, oh, really? What are they thinking about? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, don't be lured in with this, okay? Because this is someone who's been a weakness for some of you before, and you just can't help yourselves. You just can't help it. Um, and, you know, it's so funny because it's, I think, I mean, I, I look at my at my analytics at who watches my videos you know a lot of it's people in their like 30s and 40s but you know i know i have younger people and i have older people and it really it's a it's a, actually a pretty good mix of people and a lot of diversity and i'm grateful for that but i just gotta tell you like it's funny like younger people think that older people don't have these soap opera dramas between them and it's still it's just terrible older people the older you get it's like the worse the drama becomes watch the golden girls for a good example <laughs> seriously like Maybe older people don't date as much as some of the golden girls, but they could these days if they wanted to. And I'm not saying it's a good thing. A lot of times it's just people gold digging, to be honest with you. And that could be what this is. Maybe that's why I'm going down that road with this conversation. Ew. Hmm. And maybe that's, okay, a bag of money. Yeah, we got a bag here, don't we? Huh. Hmm. You know, yeah, I'm getting a gold digger vibe. That's why, okay, this whole reading 
is to tell you to slow down too because you know what this could be this could be someone who is going to lay it on thick and it could be someone who maybe i mean i hate to say are you if you're someone who goes out to bars regularly this is someone who knows your favorite bar knows when you're going to be there in happy hour knows when you're gonna need a designated driver they're not ashamed to come in and oh i see you there do you need to ride home you know after all your friends leave i'm just that's just one example use it as a metaphor it could be many other things but like um this, i'm telling you the reason i've got this reading for you is because this is someone who i mean this is must have been a hot and heavy connection and they think they can just steamroll back in like it's nothing and i think there's something about money okay that's the that's the warning here let me pull some cards from my manifestation deck to see what else i get for you because this is heavy now it got heavy the longer i went it got heavy you deserve to succeed this person was holding you back do you get that they were holding you back you deserve success and i don't want you to remember that so that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to have a serious conversation if you want to get ready, set, go, but get back into this because they're ready to just make it happen. You have healthy habits. Oh, no. Okay, the energy I just get from this is this person may not have the healthiest of habits, and that's all I'm going to say, okay? Okay? Adult fantasies. I'm telling you, a lot of this, like, they're going to lure you in with that, but I think part of it is they. it's the money, too, you know? It's kind of all connected, you know? You cannot stop good things from happening to you. I just want you to know, if you mess up, if you just can't can't help yourself, and this person is just that irresistible, good things are still going to happen to you. You can't even stop it. Just know that. Don't beat yourself up. Don't feel guilty. And maybe you already did mess up. I have a feeling, oh, wait, this just popped out too. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Don't beat yourself up. I'm definitely getting that energy now that somebody did mess up, and you're like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I wake up there last night or that yesterday afternoon or whatever it was? Um, you know, I'm sorry. Don't beat yourself up. You're going to be okay just for today. Just move on. Keep moving forward. Have a serious conversation. Don't let them weasel their way back in. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.